uh, one particular theme that keeps coming up in the Quran when Allah mentions Al Insan, and that is when good things happen, what's our reaction? And when bad things happen, what's our reaction? Okay, and there are two kinds of reactions, we'll talk about that. But essentially, our reaction to good and bad. Good things happen in your life, how do you react? Bad things happen in your life, how do you react? Keep in mind that our weaknesses have already been mentioned. The ones that, that came with us. Halu min ajal fi kabad. That's already there. Keeping that in mind, how do most human beings fail when they're tested with good or bad? Because both of those are tests. Allah says, وَإِذَا مَسَّ الْإِنسَانَ الضُّرْ دَعَانَ لِجَنْبِهِ أَوْ قَاعِدًا أَوْ قَائِمًا فَلَمَّا كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُ ضُرَّهُ مَرَّ كَأَنْ لَمْ يَدْعُونَا إِلَى ضُرٍ مَسَّهُ كَذَلِكَ زُيِّنَ لِلْمُسْرِفِينَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ When the human being, harm touches the human being, when tough times hit you, when difficulty hits you, when a challenge hits you, Allah says, He calls on me lying on His side or sitting up or standing like no matter what you're doing, Ya Allah, please just relief, Ya Allah, just end this problem, Ya Allah, please make, it, you know, make my dad better or make my child better or give me health again, Ya Allah, solve this legal problem, solve this financial problem, solve this health problem, whatever problem it is, you're constantly asking Allah, Ya Allah, I want this, I need this, I need this, I need, this. I need relief, 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 always. And Allah says, فَلَمَّا كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُ ضُرَّهُ and as soon as we alleviate that, that harm that was hitting him, He walks around like he was never hit with any difficulty that was killing him, that was hitting him. He walks around like, hey, you were pretty, nah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good. As if all those du'as, all that humility to Allah disappeared and so did your relationship and connection with Allah. No need for du'a, now I'm good now. I mean du'as for bad times, not for good times. That's one kind of reaction. وَلَئِنْ أَذَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنَّا رَحْمَةً ثُمَّ نَزَعْنَاهَا Another reaction. When we make the human being taste some of our mercy, that comes only from us, some good times, some relief, some happiness, you enjoy it just a little bit, then we take it away. ثُمَّ نَزَعْنَاهَا Allah is saying that good time that came to you, you're not entitled to it. My health, your health, my money, your money, my house, Whatever I have, whatever loved ones I have, the people in my life, the things in my life, and my own being are not my property. Allah gave them out of a mercy only from Him, not because I earned them. And so He pulls back some of what is actually His, not mine. I wasn't entitled to it. But when, I, when He does, إِنَّهُ لَيَأُوسٌ kafur, He becomes completely void of hope, extremely depressed. Nothing is good in my life. What do you mean good? Why should I be happy? I have no reason to be happy. You know what happened to me? You know what I've been through? And you're constantly focused on the negative. And then, as a result, because you're so depressed and focused on the negative, you can't be grateful. And that's why there's a logical progression. Kafur. Extremely ungrateful. In denial that anything good is happening. You know, don't give me a lecture about how I need to be grateful. I don't want to hear it. وَإِذَا أَنْعَمْنَا عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ أَعْرَضَ وَنَا Then the, the, another kind of reaction. Allah says when when we shower the human being with favor and luxury and comfort, he just starts ignoring us. He just ignored us. And turns to his side like, <laughs> this is like, when times are good, man, I made some good investments. It turned out pretty good. No, no credit to Allah. Allah says, I, made, I gave you this, and you don't even turn back to me. You just turn away like it's all you. وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ كَانَ يَأُوسَى And when harm hits him, when tough times come, completely void of all hope. وَإِذَا مَسَّ الْإِنسَانَ ضَرٌ دَعَى رَبَّهُ مُنِيبًا إِلَيْهِ When harm comes to him, he starts turning back to God and starts praying to his master. ثُمَّ إِذَا خَوَّلَهُ نِعْمَةً مِّنْهُ نَسِيَ مَا كَانُوا يَدْعُوا إِلَيْهِ And when he wraps him around with luxury and favor, then he forgets everything he was calling, calling to, uh, to God for. And who he was calling to min qabl. وَجَعَلَ لِلَّهِ أَنْدَادًا And not only that, he puts other, play, other entities besides Allah to compete with. And that doesn't just mean he worships other than Allah. It actually means he starts loving other than Allah, obsessing with other than Allah. All the time that used to go in dua, now it goes to himself or into his pleasures or into something else. Other things took now competitive space with Allah in his heart. That's what it's referring to. لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ So not only is he himself misguided, he misguides others from Allah's path. Allah says, قُلْ تَمَتَّعْ بِكُفْرِكَ قَلِيلًا This is really important to understand. Allah in this ayah is describing essentially a believer. 
a believer who when he goes or she goes through hard times makes dua to Allah. When they make dua to Allah, other people see them making dua to Allah and what are they inspired to do? Also make dua to Allah. When you see someone in difficulty making dua to Allah, you are inspired to come closer to Allah also. They become a kind of role model for you. When difficulty comes to them and they forget about dua, and they forget about Allah, and they put other, and, and but, but, but not, not difficulty, when Allah gives them good times and they forget about Allah, and they completely lose the path of dua and lose humility towards Allah, then not only are they themselves misguided, didn't other people look at them as role models? They, they, because they inspired themselves to learn dua from them. And now when they're gone off the deep end, then others go off the deep end. لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Allah says, قُلْ قَلِيلًا You better enjoy your ingratitude just a little more because you're from the people of hell. Allah is very angry with people like that. May Allah protect us from being from them. وَإِذَا مَسَّ الْإِنسَانَ ضَرٌ دَعَانَا ثُمَّ إِذَا خَوَّلْنَاهُ نِعْمَةً مِنَّا قَالَ إِنَّمَا أُتِيتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ He says, when, when harm comes, he makes dua to us. When I wrap him around, when we, we cover him completely and envelop him in favor, he says, all of this favor came to me because of knowledge I have. I was given all this because I'm a genius. That's why. بَلْ هِيَ فِتْنَةٌ It is nothing but a trial. You earn nothing in life because you are so smart. All of it was just a test. Most of them don't even know. لا يسأم الإنسان من دعاء الخير. Some there's another human tendency. Some people they love asking Allah for good things. Love that's the only relationship they have with Allah. I'm making dua to Allah that I get that outfit. I'm making dua to Allah I get those sneakers. I'm making dua to Allah that you know what's that new Nintendo thing that came out? The, the, the switch. I mean, make dua switch for Eid even before Eid. Yeah, let me make it Eid sooner. Can I need this? <laughs> Making dua to Allah for stuff. All the time dua to Allah for stuff. And when you say, hey, is that the only stuff you make dua to Allah for? Yeah, well, what? I'm supposed to ask Allah, right? I'm being religious. You're religiously materialistic. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? You're just asking Allah for stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. And you know, when you ask Allah for things like, Ya Allah, pass me in the test, Allah, pass me in the test, Allah, and then you fail. Because the only thing you ever asked Allah for was dunya related. And does Allah always give you dunya when you ask for it? No. So you don't get it. Then what happens? And as soon as Allah, because you're going to only ask Him for worldly things, and He won't give you, then you become void of hope, completely depressed. Ah, uh, what's the point of dua anyway? I made dua and I still failed. You know, I made dua and I still, I didn't, you know, I didn't achieve what I was hoping to achieve. So if I, what's the point of dua now? I tried it, it doesn't work for me. As a matter of fact, things are much better when I don't, I feel happier. I know how you feel happy, I get you. <laughs> but this is another tendency we have. This is again our loss. وَإِذَا أَنْعَمْنَا عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ أَعْرَضَ وَنَأَ بِجَانِبِهِ وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرْ فَذُو دُعَاءٍ عَرِيضٍ Another tendency, he says when we give the human being favor, he ignores, he turns away, like life is good, who needs God? I've literally met people who've said, I have a good job, I'm healthy, I have a car, I have career, I'm happy with my family, I, I, I look good, I feel good, I, I have good money and whatever, why do I need religion? Why do I need him? I have everything I need. I mean, religion is for people who need it. I don't need it. Allah says, when I shower him with favor, he ignores me. Turns to his side. And then Allah says, وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرْ And then another kind of person, when harm hits them, فَذُو دُعَاءٍ عَرِيضٍ Then he makes long, elaborate du'as. Non-stop du'as. Now he puts in his, he's put in his place, so he comes back to Allah and starts making du'a. Like Allah is describing the hypocrisy of it. This is the kind of person when good times will come again, what's going to happen again? Well, I needed religion for that time. I can go back to my old state now. You know? فَإِنْ أَعْرَضُوا فَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَفِيظًا إِنْ عَلَيْكَ إِلَّا الْبَلَاغُ وَإِنَّا إِذَا أَذَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنَّا رَحْمَةً فَرِحَ بِهَا وَإِنْ تُصِبْهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ بِمَا قَدَّمَتَ أَيْدِيهِمْ فَإِنَّا الْإِنسَانَ كَفُور Allah tells His Prophet ﷺ, if they ignore you, turn away from you, we haven't sent you to guard over them or watch over them. Your only job is to communicate a message. 
And if we make human beings taste any mercy from us, any even little bit, they get overjoyed. Fariha biha. Temporary happiness. And as soon as some calamity hits them because of their own sins, because of what they've done themselves, human beings then just tend to be extremely ungrateful. All the good that Allah has ever given them, forgotten. And of course, this is the tendency that we talked about previously in a previous discussion in Surah Al-Fajr. إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ فَأَكْرَمَهُ وَنَعَامَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَكْرَمًا وَقَدْرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَحَانًا That when Allah gives him good, he says, Allah is really good to me. You know why Allah, I know Allah has honored me? Look at all the stuff He gave me. Look at all the stuff I have. This is an indication that Allah loves me. And while it takes some of those things away, He says, God doesn't love me, man. God hates me. Look at what He, look at what he put me through. Rabbi Ahanan. You know, some things are taken away from you and you're like, Allah, yeah, I don't know what He has against me. But He just loves putting me through misery. He just loves humiliating me. If this was the attitude of prophets, can you imagine? What would Nuh salam say about Allah every day for 950 years? When he say, Rabbi Akraman or Rabbi Ahanan, one of the most noble messengers of Allah is insulted, made fun of, spit on, every day, for generations. Is he, if anybody had the right to say, Allah hates me, Allah is just putting me through a hard time, He loves humiliating me. It would have been someone like Nuh alayhi salam. He, Allah Azza wa will describe, was one of Ulul Azmi min al-Rusul. One of the great resolved messengers, one of the most honored messengers. Why is it that your difficulty and mine that people put us in or we put ourselves in is translated into Allah put me in this. Allah humiliated me. You know? And the only way Allah is good to me is if my worldly life becomes better. That's the, that's the only way for me to know Allah is good to me. In other words, we've become materialistic even in our relationship with Allah. This relationship is supposed to be spiritual and it itself has become you know, based on, on material parameters.